Hello, Miracle Life Family Church. This is Pastor Walker. I want to share with you briefly what the church's response is going to be with the recent surge in COVID cases in our nation. We've been noticing this, obviously, as you have probably for the last week or two, and positivity rates are going up. Yesterday, we were at 15 percent. COVID wards and hospitals are increasing and full. So this is not fake news, it is real. We have this confirmed from medical folks on the ground and COVID is real. It's sad, but it is real. And so we want to take measures to protect you as our church members. So we are going to have stricter measures on our Sunday service. And many of these will affect you. So we want you to know what those are. First of all, we're gonna have shorter services. We're gonna go back to 60 minutes only. And when you come and when you leave, we're asking you not to linger. Uh, we're gonna be closing the tuck shop. Uh, we ask you not to hang out with people in the foyer, but uh, if you come, come and then just go back to the parking lot. Obviously, we will be very strict when it comes to hand sanitizing and wearing a face mask over your nose and mouth at all times. We are also gonna be having some measures that will affect your children. Uh, sadly, we're going to be closing for now, temporarily, special needs and the three to five year old classroom. It's very difficult for those children to wear masks. And so we're just not going to ask them to. And so please do not bring those children to church. All right. We are also going to be closing the parents room. Um, so moms with babies, dads with small children, those parents rooms will be closed and not available for you. Okay. We are also going to be, uh, when it comes to weddings, there will be no more weddings in the chapel. They're going to be weddings in the main auditorium and they will be capped strictly at 100 people. We will have no funerals at the church auditorium. All funerals will be held at the gravesite only outdoors. And uh, sadly, we know that that is not the best, but that is for your safety and the safety of your loved ones. Um, we are also, uh, during the week, if you need to come to the church for any reason, we're asking you that you make an appointment and the, the security guards at the front of the church will be more strict as far as enforcing that and it just won't be an open campus right now. This is for now. We don't know how long this will be, but in the meantime, what we ask you to do is get tested if you've got flu-like symptoms. Or it might just be the flu, but it might be COVID. And if and it is COVID, then you are, you are contagious to other people. So get tested. Be more vigilant when it comes to hand sanitizing and washing and wearing a mask when you're in contact with people. We know that the vaccine is not as readily available as it once was in the nation. But if you have a chance to get vaccinated, please do. It will be good for you and it'll be good for those around you. Thank you for listening. Thank you for following these measures. This is not good news. It's not what we had hoped, but at the beginning of this outbreak, uh, as a staff, as a board, all of our pastors, our number one priority is your safety and the safety of your family. And so we believe these measures are consistent with that. We love you, God bless you. If you cannot make it to church, if it's not safe for you to be physically gathered at church, we will be online at 08. And so uh, get some bundles, get out your laptop, your phone, and we'll be together church that way. We love you. God bless you. Stay safe. Trust Jesus. Follow protocols. Get vaccinated where you can. Um, but let's keep our eyes on Jesus and look to him. We love you very much. God bless.